Eileen Perez and Jocelyn Edwards coming together. So as we await this decision, the quick backstory is that these two uh, went at it in the gym, right? Nearly led to a lawsuit. They finally get scheduled in a UFC fight, and now they're on both knees uh, talking it out. It looks like it's over. The whole team's coming together. Look at this. So uh, it seems the beef is squashed, which tends to happen after you go uh, in a 15-minute fight with somebody, right? All the adrenaline gets out, and, you know, one of them's going to walk away with the decision here. Maybe should be probably Eileen Perez. She had six takedowns, some submission attempts, 4.17 of control, but oddly enough, Edwards had 5.11 of control. So she flipped some positions, but at the end of the day, Eileen Perez had all those takedowns. She's going to get the win, but Edwards, 108 to 54 in total strikes, but significant strikes, 28 to 20. So I just think all those takedowns mean uh, make the big difference, but already Joe Rogan and Cormier talking about how we have no idea what the scorecard's going to say after the first fight. Which the first fight went the right way, but one judge was completely off of the other two. So here we go. Here we go. Come on, give us Perez. 2-0. 2-0. Unanimous. Let's go. Give it to her. Perez. Yes. Yes. 2-0. On the night, Eileen Perez gets the win. She's now 10-2. and two. She gets a decision win. Women's Bantamweight Division, UFC 302.